Now we're going to get an update from Justin. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, in fact, for folks that were there, just noticed that they uh, just got a uh, quick uh, update. If you happen to notice that your phone went off and you're just joining us, uh, here's what I want to give you an update on right now. This first flash flood warning that you see across the metro area, uh, this is under what they've been calling life-threatening situations. So they are asking everyone to absolutely please hunker down. Do not leave if you do not have to leave. And you notice that this extends all the way from Katy, from Fulcher down to Rosenberg, Pleak, Sugarland, Mission Bend. I mean, this will give you an indication of just how nasty the weather conditions are. We've been seeing upwards of two to three inches per hour. That is why the roads have begun to flood from Aldine north side. We had a tornado warning that skipped its way from the East Tex over towards 45 about 30 minutes or about 20 minutes ago now at 530 that expired. But this entire area that's under a flash flood warning and that flash flood warning goes until nine o'clock this morning. So we're talking about this isn't one of those where it's just going to be the next 30 minutes. This is going to be the next three hours, maybe longer than that, depending on how fast all of this rain moves on out of here. So let me back this out because this is just one of three different areas that are under flash flood warnings. There's the center of the storm right there. The eye is really kind of falling apart. You saw Gage a second ago down here in Matagorda where the conditions are starting to fall apart for him as well. And you saw maybe an hour and a half ago when he was standing outside, we could hear him perfectly. There was no wind. They had to move back inside the house. The house was starting to sway once again as the backside of the uh, storm system is now moving on shore. So let me show you that over the last hour just to get you a sense of what we're seeing and this is what we figured we were going to see as it came on shore barrel that did make landfall near Matagorda Bay right at about five o'clock this morning local time. So these bands and you saw Owen a second ago this band in particular right here and you see where there's some lightning strikes within that. So what does that tell me that tells me that this band is intensifying. OK, and so that means that the cloud tops are getting bigger if it's getting to the point where we can create lightning within those. So that means that not only the rain potential for that is going to get a lot heavier, but but this could also create more of a storm surge effect and the wind will really start to lash. So all of these areas in the flashing red are flash flood warnings. These are ongoing flash flood warnings, including up on the uh, area right across much of the metro. This is the one a second ago. Carolina, we're just talking about this. National Weather Service had said this is a life threatening event for people that will be out in this. We want to make sure that everyone is safe. You saw that tornado warning that was there for about 40 minutes or so and then expired. But now the heaviest of this first band breaking up just a bit, which is certainly good news. It's starting to move up towards Cyprus outside of Katy, moving over to Sealy, heads up towards Belleville and Hempstead. If you're in those areas, this is going to be on your doorstep probably within the next 30 to 45 minutes. There's from Spring to Bush Airport. Aldine we talked about the problems with the airports. They, all the morning flights, I, I guarantee, have been canceled. There today is not going to be a day to try to get out. Uh, that won't be the case. Yeah. They're all canceled. Okay, so there we go. Caroline said she just confirmed. Everything is canceled at this point. So if you're here in Houston, welcome to stay another day to a uh, Tuesday. I promise we'll be able to get you out. But that said, this area here right in between and I, I, I mentioned this about 20 minutes ago that I said I think they're probably going to put a flash flood warning and this is the latest flash flood warning. Notice that was replaced from an aerial flood advisory and that went to goes until 830 in the morning. And so that includes all of Galveston Island. Of course, this was the first one that we saw early this morning that goes until 640. I wouldn't be shocked if they let that expire at 645 because the storm itself will have lifted northward and the backside of that that's now starting to lash down toward gauges across parts of, you know, Palacios, Bay City as you get down towards Sweeney and then right outside of uh, Sweeney over to Matagorda Bay that that's going to start improving here in just a bit now. The issue with that is, is that now that we're seeing some of the heaviest rain get closer to the metro area, as you might expect, we're running into some issues with some of the street flooding as well. That's one of the reasons why that flash flooding is out there across not only Jersey Village, but all of downtown as well. So let me put a stop on this here and jump in on just a little tighter on this because I want to give you a better sense of still what we're seeing from Fulcher, Katy, Mission Bend, Sugarland, Bel Air. If I'm reading any of these names, if this is in your area, you are under this life threatening flash flood right now. I want to go over to Caroline real quick and let's talk about how much rain we've seen with this. And that's the reason why they put that out. And then let's jump over to Justina Latimer because she has got our first look at what's happening on the roads as well. Caroline, take it away. 
quickly, I do want to show you because we've been tracking those channel statuses. Those are quickly all going yellow. No surprise rainfall totals. Pearland over four inches. This is 24 hours. So we are counting our rain bands from barrel yesterday. Highest are still going to be well to our south, but it is going to be increasing as it goes to the north. Angleton over four inches as well. You can see almost four and a half, but if we zoom out, then you can see areas like Palacios nearly seven inches. Bay City 20 miles from the coast there over six inches of rain. So this is what I wanted to show you our channel stream statuses. Our bayous have been deteriorating and this is going to be the trend. You'll notice further towards the south by NASA Road one. We've got red. That means flooding is likely and ongoing. A lot of these channels, they're still doing OK, especially around the Houston area. But you'll notice we're starting to see a lot of them turn yellow. That's because the water is coming down and we've also got the surge coming in. So for example, this is Briar Branch at Campbell Road. That's on the west side of town. And as of now, it is still rising. It's still within the banks, but look at this cross section. It is right there at the banks. More rainfall is coming down. Justina, this means we're going to see this flood outside of the banks and flooded roads are likely as well. 